In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create an invoice in Stripe. This will be a full step-by-step -step tutorial. So let's jump into it. So here I am on my Stripe dashboard. Now what you need to do is go to products, then go billing, and then under billing, you will see invoices, which you can go ahead and click on. Now, because I'm in test mode, we are going to be creating a test invoice, but if you're not in test mode, you can create a real one. So click create invoice. I'm in test mode. So again, it's create test invoice. And but from here, you can create your invoice. Now, once you're in the invoice page, it's going to show you here the preview, and this will be a preview as a PDF, an email or hosted invoice page. I can't show you the invoice PDF because it's got my phone number on it, so I'm blurring that out. And But we've got here invoice PDF, we've got email and hosted invoice page. This is going to be dependent on how you send the invoice. Obviously, you can host it on an individual page. You can send it by email. And you can also just send them a PDF also by email. But nonetheless, let's not worry about the preview for now. Let's add in the relevant details. So first, you need to click on add customer. You can then, if you've already got a customer and you've already bought them before, you can just add them and select them. If not, click add new customer and then type out the customer name. So let's say this is John Bradley. So we're billing here John Bradley. He's from the US. And you can also enter additional details like their address if you want to. Make sure you enter the correct details in the correct fields. So we've got john at john at gmail.com. We can save this person and we're now billing this person. So we've got john at john at gmail.com. We can save that person and we're now billing that person. Now what we can do is we can select the currency. So I'm going to change it to USD. So after you've changed the currency, you can then add an item. So if you click here, if you've got items already in here, you can go ahead and just select them. If not, you can add a new item and you can add here, obviously, the item, the price and the quantity. For me, though, I'm just going to cancel this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the YouTube management item. Say we're billing someone for YouTube management. So we'll click on this and then we'll click on save. We can update the price and quantity if we want. Okay, so now we've added that, it's updated on the preview. So here we can see the price. We've got the product down here. We can also, if it's not a digital product, add shipping and add a coupon. And you can select whether you want to collect tax automatically or not. Because it's a digital service, we don't really have to worry about this. We can then scroll down and you've got a request payment section. Here you can request a payment or a date that the payment will be due after the invoice is sent. The defaults, 30 days, you can change it to seven though if you want a quicker payment. So after you've changed that, you've also got your payment methods which have been added. If you click manage payment methods, you can uncheck some, but to be honest, you want the most amount of payment methods possible because it's gonna get your payment sent quicker, the client's gonna be more comfortable. So I'm gonna leave all of these selected. Now we can scroll down and we've got the delivery. Now by default, you can check email invoice to customer. That's going to send them an email based on the email on file that you've added as the customer here. It's also going to include a link to the online payment page. So they're going to get the email and they're also going to get this online payment page. So they can either pay in the email or they can click on the link and they can pay via this hosted invoice page. You've got branding settings. If you want to add your logo and change how it looks, you can do there. Well, this is only a simple video, so I'm going to just run through the settings. And then that's basically it, right? Once you've got all of these settings configured, click send invoice in the top right. And then you're sending invoice to John. You can add another email here, but we're going to just send the invoice. And you can see it's going to john at gmail.com. And there you go. The invoice has now been sent to the email of the customer that you added, right? You can also download the PDF here and send it to them manually if they request it. And you've got your activity of that invoice right here as well. So I hope that was a quick summary. If you ever wanted to go back to it, go to billing, go to invoices. You'll be able to see your invoices and the status of them and if they've been paid or not. I hope that quick video helps you out.